hey, we all look like rock stars and we all feel great when things are going our way. But in reality, that doesn't happen for anybody every day, including me. I mean, there's days or weeks or several weeks in a row where it seems like nothing's going the way I want it to. So it's important to know what to do when things don't go your way and have a plan so you can stay focused and keep moving forward. It's important in business and in life to understand two things. Number one, we're not in control all the time, no matter how much we wish we were. And number two, we need a plan for what we do when things are not going our way. When we don't make the sale or when employees don't excel like we sort of hoped they would or when people don't show up for key meetings. And when things don't go our way, we need to stick to our plan. And that's the hardest thing for most people to do, including me. Now, we all need a plan in life, whether that's a plan to exercise to get the kind of body you want or a plan to build a certain amount of revenue in your company or maybe a plan to have a great relationship with your significant other or your kids or your friends or a plan to scale to a worldwide brand. Every piece of your life should have at least one basic plan laid out, including what we want to achieve, why do we want to achieve it, who do we need on our team to achieve it, and what actions need to take place in order to achieve it. And then finally, we need a way to measure all of our actions so we know that we're on course. And here's where you get ahead in life. When things don't go our way, the most common thing that people do is they falter on their plan. I mean, we see it every single day, right? And that's when you could pull ahead of your competition. While they're chasing shiny objects and looking for a quick fix for whatever kind of roadblock they just hit, you stick to your plan and get ahead. Now, I'm not saying that you should never deter from your plan. Heck, the times I've been most successful have always been times where I've followed a proven plan but been flexible in how I reach those targets. So being flexible means that you stick to your plan but you take calculated risks and you measure your results so you could get right back on path without losing a beat, right? So you're, you're continuing doing things that work and stopping doing things that are killing your results. That's what we talk about all the time. Successful people understand that. They understand that they are going, there's gonna be days or weeks or months or whatever when things don't go their way. And during that time, yes, you should be making tweaks to your plan to improve it, but never stop working your plan. Be flexible, but be persistent. And you'll be amazed at what you could achieve in life. Now, when I wrote my first book, I couldn't get a publisher no matter how many doors I knocked on. I had to keep telling myself, this is the next stage of your life, Chris. This is the next stage. And figuratively, I had already burned all my boats. So there was no way for me to get back to my old life. So I kept pushing and pushing and pushing and learning. And I learned how to sell books on my own. And that was before eBooks were really, really common. And we sold over 60,000 copies in the first 60 days after I made that decision. And 319,000 copies in the first year. And then when I went into the health club industry and I was trying to build this profitable company, I had so many things happening that were stunting that you know my team wasn't showing up on time which was one big thing I mean think about this I'm selling memberships to my health club not me actually my salespeople were we're selling memberships telling people that we're gonna open the doors at 5 a.m. but my team wasn't showing up until what 515 or 530 or whatever and there were competitors all around me and no matter how hard I worked no matter how many nights I stayed late after we closed to try to figure out some way to have a better day tomorrow we still couldn't break even on a regular basis and that lasted for close to a decade but I kept learning and I kept pushing and I kept improving and that company became successful. But not only successful, but also we sold for way more profit, way more than enough profit for me to fund my next several ventures. When things don't go your way, stick to your plan. Be flexible, but be persistent. And the coming months will open up far more opportunities for growth than you could ever imagine. And if you need help creating your plan for growth, dig into the videos on my channel and go to my site. We'll put a link to, in the description to the site, but it's chrisguerrero.com because there's a lot of tools there that can help you scale smarter, faster, and more predictably. And before we wrap up, think about one thing that you've done in your life to keep moving forward, even when things don't go your way. Think about that for a second, one thing, and then share that in the comment section below. And also subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be one of the first to see more videos like this. No matter what stage of growth you're at, we all need an unbiased review of what's working and also what might not be working anymore in our business. Because the greatest cause of stagnation in any company, the reason most companies hit plateaus in their growth is because they fail to see the roadblocks that stop momentum in its tracks.